Lately, I've been enjoying my digital photography workflow and I wanted to take it a step further in figuring out how to get the best image out of camera shooting JPEG only and transferring it to a print. I don't have too much free time as of late and I wanted to take advantage the ease of using JPEGs provide. So today I wanted to share five tips on how to get the best image straight out of any camera. So tip number one is to find your source of inspiration and copy it. So for me, my source of inspiration comes from photo books. For you, it may be similar or it may be from somebody you follow online. Finding that source of inspiration gives you a guide and a starting point to figuring out what you want your images to look and feel like. Shooting in JPEG isn't only limited to just getting a great image out of camera because what's also important is your subject matter and what you choose to point your camera at. So having those sources of inspiration allows me to have something to mimic and compare so that when I'm looking at my JPEGs, I can find out what works and what doesn't work for the look I'm trying to create. I like to find books and resources that speak to me on a more emotional level, as I like to create images of things like my family and my friends and the life around me that inspires me so that when I reflect on it, I know it has more meaning. Luckily for me as of late, along with my camera of choice, the Ricoh GR3, Ricoh recently released a new picture profile called Negative Film. I'm mainly a black and white photographer as I really struggle to just maintain and just get the colors that I like straight out of camera. And this profile helps me get a lot closer to that. So on that note, tip number two is to pick your favorite picture profile and adjust accordingly. Your camera settings don't matter just yet. You're mainly focusing on picking a picture profile that fits your taste in terms of what you like out of your images and further going into those picture profile settings and adjusting them to your taste. I usually like to create somewhat of a neutral profile, bringing down the shadows and highlights mainly, as well as bumping or bringing down the saturation so that I have the most neutral and natural looking image straight out of camera. Tip number three is to experiment and explore. When I'm out shooting, knowing I have a look built into the camera that I like, it gives me the freedom to explore. I personally feel more motivated knowing that I don't have to imagine my look in the edit and can focus on what I'm capturing in the moment. So tip number four is to underexpose. So since we're shooting JPEG, one of the key things I like to remember is to underexpose my images. We're not shooting raw, so I have to be careful with what I'm shooting so that I don't blow out my highlights. I shoot a lot of film as well, and I have been for years, and with film comes the latitude of having more highlight and shadow detail. With digital, that's not an option. So for me, I'm usually exposing my images to negative 0.3 all the way up to negative one, which is a full stop so that when I, you know, go and post if I need to, I can bring up that shadow detail knowing that my highlights are protected. Tip number five is to break the rules. Do what you need to to further enhance your images to the way you like. I break my own rules all the time. Mistakes will be made and you gotta fix them. So be comfortable shooting, you know, raw alongside JPEG because there may be instances where you overexpose your image and you wanna be able to recover that data with the raw file. There's so many different cameras out there that people use and some of them don't have features that others have. One of my favorites is in most of the Fuji cameras, you can adjust the grain settings and that's not an option in my Ricoh, that's not an option in my Sony camera. And so I like to go and post before I print or post or export my image and add that grain just to take away from that digital look as much as I can. But also don't be afraid to adjust things to your liking. Nobody's watching you, nobody's judging you. No one really cares what you know you think looks good to your eye but I do encourage you and myself to do the best you can to get that best JPEG image straight out of camera. So I hope some of these tips were helpful for you and if you felt inspired by any of this, 
I highly recommend going and checking out one of the other videos on my channel. If you want to explore further in depth of my process, I'd appreciate if you'd support me by checking out my Patreon, which is linked down below. Thank you for watching.